Hello there, Madra Hill. Welcome back to some E4. We're playing rounds at 1662. We have did peace out with the guys in the north right now. Um, what we're hoping to do now is think about where we can attack next. We have basically no manpower whatsoever, which is a bit annoying. Game's a little slow as well, which is interesting. But my hope right now is that we can actually just kind of get our manpower back to what we need it to be. I mean, we do have... I mean, we could just try and go mercenaries instead. We have so much manpower bonuses, you know. I just feel like... I mean, I had to go... I wanted to go defensive or quality at a quantity at some point anyway. It was the thing I wanted was I wanted the... Um, I swear, I feel like I've been talking about this the entire game. But I did very much want to get the bonuses that gave me war exhaustion reduction. Which ones were that? Ah, so it's actually quality... It gives me monthly war exhaustion reduction, including dip rep. And if I go defensive, I can also get land attrition. Ah, land attrition and monthly war exhaustion with humanist ideas. Maybe that one. Maybe we'll just go defensive ideas instead then. Morale of armies is fun, but the land attrition makes a big deal. Yeah, I'm probably going to build some stuff for manpower as well. Just because I think it'd be really good if we could actually just get more. Here's a crazy idea, right? Let's just uh, chuck a big pile of that that way. And are there any claims we can get over here? So it's 35 for that. And we also have the Automonios here. Let's just... Ooh, yeah. There we go. Just try and push as many claims as possible. Um, why am I not annexing one of these many, many vassals I've got? So I was trying to avoid annexing Hungary, but I think I will annex Hungary. I also have Munster, but I believe they actually do still have quite a few more things we can grab. No, I didn't influence City at all, mate. I have no idea. If 50% morale isn't as useful in the late game, but... Most of your morale is on 7 8, the most players are powerful. Oh, that's a good point, actually. It is a... Well, no, it, it doesn't... It's not... It's only the... It only affects your base morale bonuses, right? So it only affects the actual base morale of your units, not, like, the total morale. Um... Because it's from technology. And if you get that, it'd be bonuses based on that. So you don't get much morale from technology. But still. Um, yeah, let's... I think maybe trying to annex... I mean, it would cost 500... Oh, I can't even do that just yet. Never mind. I did kill Austria a lot, to be fair. Yeah. Is there anyone else I could be annexing? Um, it's just... Yeah, it's just Munster. I still want Portugal to be doing stuff for me. But no, I guess not. That's a shame. Our war exhaustion's high. And... We need to core stuff. We're going to put to half maintenance right now. And I think we're just going to chill for a little bit. Because we are in some serious trouble of getting hurt. Uh, overall marriage of Austria. Not Austria, Hungary. So we could actually attack them right now. Um, and we could just grab even more stuff in Germany to try and keep people on long truces. Um, so we could attack Bosnia, Salzburg, or Mantua. Okay. Yes, it is. Ooh, also we should be getting... Do I, how much inflation do I have? Not a lot, to be honest. Let's get the... Um, we get tax. Our legitimacy is fine and our dip rep is fine. Let's just get even more mercantilism, screw it. Okay. Um, tricky stuff. I mean, I really do. I really need to dismantle the empire. Unhappiness among the peasantry. Oh, come on. I don't really need money, bro. I'm just gonna. I'll have to take a debt, unfortunately. So. Oh, look, we actually have someone voting for me for emperor. So, I would have to be fighting. Lipe, you like so bad. Really? I mean, Lipe and lag? I, I am fighting a little bit, yeah. Ooh, the Commonwealth. Holy Roman Bohemian War of Conformance. Eh? What does that mean? Ooh, what does that mean? What does the War of Conformance mean? Why is Bohemia dead? What? War of Conformance? War of 
conformance. Is that personal union? Hey, isn't that religious conformance? But yeah, it's religious unity. Give it to the emperor. Oh, sorry. It's no, but the Commonwealth isn't the emperor. Hey, the emperor trying to enforce religion. The Holy Roman Bohemian War of Conformance. Are they allied to the em? No. I I actually have no idea what's going on. No. Look at this. Attacker against Bohemia in the Holy Roman Bohemian War of Conformance. The Commonwealth is attacking Bohemia and the Emperor. The Emperor is Lipe. What? But he's not the Emperor. He's not being attacked by the Emperor. The Emperor is 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 Lipe. Huh? And they're defending against the Commonwealth. What on earth is going on? I, I have absolutely no idea. I am deeply, deeply confused. No, seriously, what? What on earth is going on? Oh, hey, we can, we can state Wessex. How fun. Can we kill England, actually? Oh, we can kill England right now if we wanted to. Um, I'll just wait a little bit, though. Ah, oh, Austria's paper control. Lame. Is there an event in Council of Trent? I, I guess. I guess? Oh, I'm not going to give you... Oh. And I just got the last Invalids. Damage the Musketeers. Oh, because I built a bunch of those things. By establishing military hospitals for our brave veterans, we can reduce some takes to put them back on the front lines. Next opportunity for medical research. 10%. Oh, end the game. Manpower recovery speed. 10%. Nice. Okay. That's pretty good. Thanks, buddy. If you attack Commonwealth, how much stab will you lose? There's not really a lot of point me attacking the Commonwealth, to be honest. Yeah, the Commonwealth's the PU I want to get the most. But I can't claim their throne right now because they've got an heir. Which is very sad. But, he says only seven, so I should be able to do it soon, maybe if they die. I can attack the com- I can attack Bohemia soon. One of those, which would be nice for a nice little PU. Nice tasty PU. Hmm. Wait, not bad. Oh, this is a mercenary stack, isn't it? I forgot about that. One that can hold the highest number of troops. I guess it's just there. Uh, fine. Okay, great. Um, I'm just confused, frankly. But okay, I suppose the most logical person to attack would be Austria. Once I have a bit more manpower back. Um, yeah, let's do that. We do have some rebel risk increase going along here, which is always fun. Hmm. What you'd say, you say, Vajnaya on the Reconquest CBs, but they've all been deleted. It would appear that they were forced to annul their claims for some stupid bloody reason. Don't ask me why, but they have been. I've absolutely no idea what could have created that as a possibility, but here we are. I actually have no idea why this happened. It's so frustrating for me. In the meantime, can we kill these guys? Are they allied with anyone? Question. Oh, it's fine. Okay. Great. You take that. Get them, boys. Oh yeah, time time lapse for my run. Um, maybe a, a, a later on point. Yeah, I don't know. I'll sit here going through a time lapse, but towards the end of it, I certainly will. Okay, I'll put it up on YouTube as well. That'd be really fun. Of course, awesome, awesome. Um, we also have to wait until seventy three to attack them. Yes, yeah, so we're kind of stalled there right now. And there's the weeping song. Uh, a little bit of that. Oh, I forgot to pay off my debts. We are exceedingly wealthy. Like, we're so rich. 
mostly from stupid amounts of, um, like, just utterly ridiculous amounts of war reps. There's the Truce of Bohemia. Hey, we're actually winning? I don't understand what this war is for. I just don't get it. I can claim their throne as well. How are they possibly not... The hell, how many troops does Bohemia have? Christ. Oh, I don't even know. Is Tunis a vassal? No, not even a little bit. They're guaranteed by those douchebags. Uh, oh, I don't actually... Do I have claims on them? Annoyingly, I don't even have claims on them. Because Castile is just refusing to do so. We're kind of just uh, re readying ourselves for various fights. We really do need to be making moves, don't we? Right. We could attack Austria, most certainly. And that would put us at war with a fair amount of people. I mean, there's no goal, goal, there's no goal thing right there just yet. I would like to dismantle the Empire. So let me just see how many... The goal is basically world conquest, yeah. So... If we were to attack them, who would join? So, we need Mainz to be at war. So Lip would call Mainz, that's good. Munster would join us. Mantua, cool, he'd join. Utrecht. The Utrecht would not join. Ommers won't join against Swiss Tube, but I don't have anything to attack them with. Uh, Augsburg. No. Neep and yes, and the Papal State. Oh my god. So it would be nice if I could in one war do this, but... Ah, Augsburg and Mantua. Here we go. Here we go. So... Mainz, yes, Munster, Mantua still, Utrecht, not Utrecht. Damn. Hmm, so it's still, it's still just Utrecht that's being the bad one. Who's Utrecht allied with? Nobody. Nobody. So if I could get Utrecht to be in this, I could actually dismantle the Empire right now. If they would just be allies of someone. Ah, oh, that's annoying. They're not allies of anybody. Well, let's wait. They might become allies of someone. Once again, I'm going to go through and just build a bunch of manpower bonuses. And additionally, ooh, we're going to be over our capacity pretty soon. We do want to watch out for that. Oh, I kind of forgot I was at war. <laughs> yeah. Tricky. It's really tricky the position we're in right now. We really want to be moving pretty aggressively and fast, but kind of difficult to do that when you don't have get them to find no, Yes. Yes. Right, they can just sit there for a little bit. Uh, can I please give this to you now, Vajner? Uh, the province of Udeo? No, I cannot. Oh, we're at war. We can't grab them. Duh. We can grab a tech. Fortunately, this has not spread far enough yet. But we'll grab it now anyway. When, when did we go live? Uh, about half an hour ago. Uh, 20 minutes ago, maybe. So I just want to basically be constantly keeping an eye on Utrecht. And hopefully, they'll eventually take an ally. We want to also keep an eye on what happens with Commonwealth. If they go airless, for example, that would be really good. Or if he d if she dies and then gets replaced, that'd be really good. Is the Force Regency, and I can claim this throne really quickly as well. Obviously, it'd be unpleasant for me. Yeah, well, only halfway through the first episode of it. So annoying that. Oh, national unrest. Love it. Unrest reduction. Hmm, I lost a CB. Uh, new ability, which is great. Harsh treatment, ability cooldown. Mm. Mm. These are all kind of terrible. 
Our treatment cost, I suppose. Don't really want any of this, to be honest. Is there any autonomy I could be reducing? Oops, I just clicked. I just clicked the wrong thing like twelve times. Mark their provinces. Scornfully insult them. They may feel more threatened and therefore ally someone. Now you're talking. Why marry Bohemia? I was trying to get the dynasties on there, and I have. I've got. I'm going to be able to force a personal union on them. And indeed, they have a multitude of claims and, and values. So it's going to be worth. Um. So. That's a really good idea. So it is Utrecht. So, where where the hell is Utrecht? Right there. We're going to scornfully insult them. Nice. I didn't even look at what that was. And then we're going to mark their provinces as desired. And we'll hope that they grab an ally of someone. And they start to feel threatened or something. Really all we can hope. Our manpower is basically back to where we wanted it, which is great. Yeah, I did. I marked it in red. I marked the province in red already. Hmm. Take a look. And no, still no allies. Cardinal Minister. Lovely. Great bonus. Um, how is Bohemia winning this war, though? What is 60% for actually getting the Commonwealth? I think, hi, lovely Birch. I think I'm going to get it. I just need them to die, and then I can push for it. I really do think I'll be able to take it. Ah, oh, Denmark, new people controller. I really do. I can't believe Utrecht is just being such a douche. I mean, I could just attack Austria. Ah, I don't know, bro. Not good enough. I'm. I want to wait. What, basically, you did what you can, you're going to make them... Yeah. Doing the best I can, basically. Come on. Leave me alone. Peace out. How old is Conwell? How old? Uh, old enough, my friend. Old enough. Oh, the, the heir. She's, she's 53, and the heir is only 10. I don't want to be pushing ahead of time here. Because if, if I can dismantle the Empire in one fell swoop, that would be amazing if I was to be able to do that. Can I start to encourage manufacturers or something? There you go. That'll be a bit. I think we're going to wait just a little bit, get to 100k manpower or something. Have you finally caught this? Yes, we have to wait for that. Hey, look, they've been sieged. No, I'm going to keep... I will annex Hungary as soon as I can, but it's... And it's not until 1470. Uh, 1470, 1670, then I'm allowed to. Oh, I died. That's a, that's a shame. I, I'm now a 432, but my heir is a 533. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this. Oh, yeah. I like that. Bro, can you please just... Bro, can you please just take an air? Uh, an ally, even? What the hell's going on? No, Chet Baker. <sighs> I want to wait, because I don't want to push things too fast. Um, and then risk losing things. Ooh. The ascension's been left and well-received. They consider his men as foreign and strain, because I'm Santignon. Fair enough. They'll learn to love him in time. Shush. Claim throne on whom? I can't claim throne with these guys. I can get a royal marriage. But I can't claim throne because they don't have a, a weak heir. I've already claimed throne of these guys, but we're waiting for them to be at peace. I also don't want to jump into a war with the Emperor in the fight. There's a possibility. Ally Utrecht, no chance because I've scornfully insulted them. <laughs> they hate me quite a bit. I and mean, I suppose I could... No, they'll never join me in that war. They would never join me. Bro, how is this 92%? Mr. T.O. Box, thank you very much for that follow, buddy. Welcome to the stream. I really do appreciate that. I don't want to join against chance. Yes, but I have no claims. Uh, and without claims on them, it's not really worth it to do anything to them. Uh, we're going to go war reps. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's enough claims on them. Yeah, steel kicking some butt. Great. Advise Naya. I think they'd have to join you. You just need them to be your ally or vote for you. The campaign went for the moment you pick humanists over religious. How dare you? I'll show you though. 
Uh, they need to be actively in the war. They have to be... Ooh, maybe. Oh, that's a good point. I wish I hadn't scornfully insulted them now. Crap. Ooh, that's a good point, actually. Let me check. Well, I'll check a bit in between episodes. Do be sure to leave a like and a comment on the video. Let me make a good series so far. I was Arjo Continue to be listening to some E4 play in France. Let's see if we can figure it out. Bye-bye.